Well, hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got another manicure to share with you. And today I'm not going to be stamping. <laughs> I know, you're surprised, gotta be. So I have started off with Miltique's Formula 2 as my base coat. And <clears throat> I have applied two coats of this Princessa White Polish called Alpine. Excuse me, there we go, Alpine. And I have topped it off with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Now this is a new top coat I'm trying. Um, my friend Randy had told me that this is what she loves, and I thought, well, you know, for that humongous bottle, I mean, it's huge. It's 2.5 fluid ounce. Got it at Walmart for less than five dollars. I figured, let's give it a try. So I'm, I'm trying that out, and I am going to be doing a manicure today using the rest of the Princessa polishes that my friend Jennifer sent me. Um, all these wild neon colors. Now I have done a little research online and I have not been able to find these anywhere yet. Don't give up hope though because you guys know I've got to find something out about these. So I will be looking into finding more information on these. Jennifer said she got them at like a local flea market where she lives and um, so when I find some more information about it I will definitely pass that on. I'm going to be using slime green Epic Yellow, Fleshy Orange, and the Dive in Blue, along with the Mega Purple, and this last one is Rebellious. So, <clears throat> we're going to do some dotting today. So, I'm going to get these all ready, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. I've just put a little bit of this green out here on my little mat here, and I've got a fuzzy on my dotting tool. We've got to take care of that business. We can't be having that. And I'm just going to be dotting all of these colors just all over my nails. Um, just, you know, willy-nilly. No pattern. Nothing. Just going to, you know, put them all down. And I don't know if you noticed, but I have shortened my nails. I got into a fight with a stapler today at work and chipped a huge corner out of... Um, my pointer finger on this hand, this one that I'm playing with today, and I just decided, you know what, instead of trying to fix it, patch it, or whatever, I'm just going to, you know, let it be. Now we're going to head on to the blue. Ooh, goodness gracious, I'm making a mess. Nail polish abuse. So, and I would show... I would have shown this like just doing one nail, but um, I find it easier when you're doing stuff like this just to, you know, plop some polish out and get with it, you know, do all of them at once. Just, you know, it's kind of, kind of tricky when you're doing just the, you know, dotting. All right, I'm going to clean this mess up so we can do some more. <laughs> Be right back. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit. Let's try to get it to where it's not blurry, though. There we go. Okay, camera acting nice now. So we're going to go in with a little purple. And I know when I do these types of manicures, you guys probably are thinking, wow, what is she doing crazy? But it, it if it turns out anything like it looks in my head, then we'll be good to go. So I thought about this one all day at work today. Well, after, you know, in between working, I was thinking about it. Let's put it that way. And you don't have to be, you know, I'm not working on these to be like perfect circles. I'm not, it's not like one of those fancy data cures. It's just where you're a little data cure, you know. I'm not worried about the dots overlapping or touching each other or anything like that. Just dotting. Sometimes just random dotting's fun. Oh, I'm getting quiet. Sorry, <laughs> I was focusing, talking about not not making a big deal out of it, and then I get all quiet. Crazy. Yeah. There we go. Oh, this is already starting to look pretty cool. I am so ready for, um, you know, spring and summer colors. I just, 
decided, you know what, let's just go on and do it. And have fun with it. I love this color, it's so pretty. So, on top of playing nails here lately, I'll let you guys kind of have a little insight to something else I do besides just playing nails. I've been watching all the Friends episodes. My husband, years ago, bought me all of the Friends movies or, you know, DVDs, and I have been watching them, and I have really been enjoying them. I'm getting close to the end, though. Emma's been born, and, um, you know, it's just just coming to an end, and I will uh, have to find something else to watch after that is all over. Think about watching that 70s show next. I don't know. We'll see. We have them all on DVD, too. <laughs> we don't have cable or satellite or anything anymore, so I've just been watching, you know, um, DVDs, you know, they're already bought, they're sitting on the shelf, might as well watch them. And I like that you can just kind of stop them, pause them, go do something, and come back, and, you know, it's just easy. My little pinky nail's all covered up. Okay, so look at that clown mess we got going on there. So I'm going to let this dry for a little bit. I'm going to put some top coat on it, and then we're going to do some what, people? <laughs> stamping. I know, I said we weren't going to do any stamping, but I lied. Actually, I didn't lie. I just forgot that that was part of it. So I will be right back. Okay, I am back, and I am ready to do some stamping. I have done some cleanup and top coated and dried down craziness. And I'm going to be stamping today today with this Cheeky Plate CH15. I'm going to be using these four images. And I'll also be using this Bundle Monster H, H01. I'm going to be using the heart image. And I will be stamping with Funky Fingers Dark Knight. I'll be using my Clear Jelly Scraper and my, excuse me, my big fat clear stamper that I got off of AliExpress. So let's just get on into it. So This is not your typical Valentine's Day, Manny, but I needed to do at least one. <laughs> you guys know I gotta do one. One every, every holiday. That one didn't show up just great over that, but it's it's all good. And then we're gonna turn, and I'm gonna use this image on my pointer finger. I wanted to pull out all of my um, Valentine's Day stamping plates and see how many of them I could get through this year. And I don't really like that. That's kind of funky. <laughs> Alright, clean that one off and flip the plate again. Here we go. And also, I figured a lot of these images would be great because, you know, my nails are shorter. <laughs> Works out really nice. And if it's not showing up really good on camera, because I know a lot of times these, um, oh, and this is where I wanted to use this image, a lot of times these neons just kind of wig the camera out. I will have a swatch photo at the end that you can maybe see better, or hope you can see it better. <laughs> oh, I love that image. Cool. And one more. Let's go back to this other plate and use this image I haven't used yet. I love all these little heart images. It's so hard to make up your mind when you're looking at all your plates. 
So there we go. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup and we'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back and I have done some cleanup and top coating. We're going to top coat this ring finger and today I'm using Posh. I know, not another, no big surprise there. <laughs> That's what I normally use, especially when stamping. I do like other top coats, but when I come to come down to stamping, this just this is the one for me. I do want to try some of those no smears like from Queen or not Queen Bundle Monster? That's it. I think they've got one. So that is my final manicure. The crazy thumb. So, I hope you enjoyed this one. Please leave me a comment down below, and if you'd like to give it a thumbs up, that is all I have for today. So, until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.